Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Bottom Left in Corner. We got Doodle starting as the Mustard Yellow Protoss. Bottom right in corner, we got Striker starting as the Grey Zerg. Hello out in Chatland, or uh, sorry, in Twitchland. The people out there are not usually able to capture the commentaries. This is going to be on Apocalypse Game 3 between Doodle and Striker. And Doodle felt like he was holding on for dear life in the last match, but able to create an immense amount of disruption earlier, in, early in the match, and then hold on to cap the victory, which um, is a, I think that's a bit of an upset. The, here's the thing. I think Doodle is very, very close to pro league level. I think he's probably mid Gosu league level right this second, the way he's playing right this second. He's not that far out of pro league level, and I think the last game proved it. So if he has another game where he just plays as fantastically as he did in game two, uh, I could see him knocking out Striker here. That being said, Striker, I, I will say that Striker, while he was doing all of this, was my favorite to win the entire thing. Um, Overlord spotted, by the way, which is going to allow Doodle to get that first scout. I think this is going to be a Forge first opener. And actually, we might even skip and go straight to Nexus first, depending on what he scouts. Okay, we do have a spawning pool down first, which should... Uh, so it's an overpool, which should um, trigger a Forge here. The trick, though, is the striker has not yet scouted. And there might be... I mean, he could try to go for the Nexus and use the probe harassment. Nice. Look at that reaction time from striker. As soon as Doodle's, like, walking up... Ooh, is he going to miss the opportunity to disrupt that natural expansion? Striker not even going to bother. He's just going to go straight up to his third, which leads me to believe it's going to be three hatch before... Does Doodle have the opportunity to turn around? He's tracing this drone. He really wants to interrupt there. Looks like he's skipping... And the drone turning around going for an attack. Natural expansion was dropped. It looks like he did go for... It looks like he's going to go Forge Nexus Forge. Or Forge Nexus Cannon. Potentially. Cycling his way back. We have at least two Zerglings being queued up. Uh, Doodle still has full shield somehow on this probe after walking it all the way around. But man, the micro from Striker really making it difficult for Doodle to get the harassment done that he's wanted to. And shredded a good amount of that probe shield, but he might have been able to skip this cannon, I think, with just the two Zerglings out. In the meantime, gas is uh, dropped about halfway finished, which puts it around, I don't know, 230 mark. Pretty healthy timing. If he did opt to go three hatch mutalist, probe also checking top right does find a drone right there to, first of all, confirm that it's going to be three hatch and that the three hatch is coming a little uh, after gas, but also to confirm. The location of that third hatchery. There are occasional sneaky zergs. Striker not usually the one, but well, they'll plant a hatchery like out in no man's land uh, here and there to kind of disguise the build order and whatnot. Anyway, Gateway making its way up. Nexus up. We have the gas up for Doodle in the background. Critical that he keeps this probe alive to see whether it's going to turn into 973, which is very, very strong in Apocalypse, but is just there to see the layer timing. So at least knows that it's going to be some form of layer tech. So and this is where I feel like Striker, if he uh, if he varied up his build orders slightly, and occasionally on a layer play like this, you can see Doodle just exiting, by the way. He might make his way back around to just kind of check the drone count, but he's, he's less concerned about finding the follow-up tech. But if he added in a little bit of spice here and there, uh, I think what Doodle's got to presume at this stage is, okay, this is going to lose the worker. Um, I think he's going to just presume that it's going to be four hatch standard play. So three hatch spire, fourth hatch drop, scourge to, to box out the Corsair. Second gas drop, by the way, for Doodle. So might be a heavier tech play. Um, oftentimes I would have seen the second gas at this timing. I would have been like, Beastu build. We're going to see VT out there for sure. Uh, these days, it's just to get those Templar out a little bit earlier to pack a little bit more Psy Storm for the mid game uh, to potentially deal with it. Basically to get a little bit uh, of extra Psy Storm when you're going out and trying to take that third, depending on the timing of everything. One thing for Doodle, though, is, is he's kind of, he's push tech and he's dropping a second cannon, but with a lot of this pushing of tech, he, he's neglected uh, zealots. So he's got a single zealot making its way out, instantly swarmed by the four zerglings, and I don't think he's even going to get a decent trade here. The zealot's still trying to sprint top right, and I don't think he's going to get there. Yeah, they just died and didn't even take out a zergling. In the space of that, Overlord makes it all the way to confirm the Stargate and that timing. With this, uh, let's see if a Hydral Stun gets dropped, because that... I believe uh, if this 
is that Corsair going to get queued? It's the next question. Corsair, so there was a timing. I think he might have been able to get some early Overlord kills here. But the Corsair, the Stargate showing and no Corsair building. Instead, an additional cannon. This might, again, be because of losing that Zealot and not getting a good count of the Zerglings. Yeah, a few probes out, some cannons dropping. And so Striker, with a little bit of threat and getting some of that damage done earlier, uh, causing Doodle to not go for that Stargate. But it looks like that Stargate, mostly for show anyway. Fourth Hatchery, by the way, at the third base. And it looks like it's going to be an immediate move to five hatchery. So I think this might be six hatch spire looking at this. Uh, we'll have to see if it goes to six hatchery. Sometimes there's five hatch spire in the space of this, but we see no movement to hydral sten. We have initial scourge being built. And never mind, we do have the hydral sten. It looks like being planted. It's just kind of the, the timing of it a little bit different than what I'm accustomed to. Now the, so Citadel of a down, uh, Dune done a little bit earlier here for Doodle. Now we're getting that Corsair out. So shifting his build order around a little bit. This time, getting the preventative cannons down to respect the mutilisks. Plus one weapons about halfway finished. That should complete. Zelt still guard, uh, guarding the front well. And the Scourge making their way out. Might be able to intercept this Corsair. But sir... Ah! And this is even... Uh, this is Danger Town now for Doodle. So the other thing you got to do with these Scourges is just confirm. So takes a shot right there. But sees critically... A lack of gateways so notices a big lack of gateways here in the background for doodle granted he's got one gateway here at the natural expansion so a little bit hidden right there but usually you'd expect two or three gateways dropped in the space of this templar archives plop down as well which i think is going to cause striker to be a little bit more drone happy in the space of this and doodle i think recognizing the lack of threat trying to march four zealots out to provoke a little bit we do have a handful of of uh, Hydralis being built. But I'm wondering if uh, how Striker is going to absorb that information. Is he going to absorb that information and go like, okay, you know what? Let's just go for a hard contained kill. Uh, knowing that this is a difficult base to grab that third along that ridge line because of the Hydralisks that can come from this high ground to low ground. Or if he's going to, again, just, uh, okay, never mind. Looks like <laughs> answering my own question. As a lot of Hydralisks now filtering in, although the Hydralisks aren't pressing towards the front currently waiting for those upgrades so speed upgraded we do have uh range missile attack we also have plus one air weapons being upgraded in space of this but not a lot of corsair so still just a single corsair now the gateways plopping down zelt leg speed's kicking in so they're making the way across striker out to go ahead and engage it and i think he would have put again if there was more gateways out he would have been less aggressive with this but the thing is is like five zealots versus uh this timing with you know the fewer ga gateway count he's not concerned and this is forcing doodle to plant down a lot more cannons at the natural and now that so fortunately the zealots might be able to attack from the rear and disrupt this a bit no psi storm upgraded as yet either in a space of all this Ooh, striker having some trouble gathering this a little bit donating some well showing some zealots so doodle at least creating some chaos to pull those hydralists off the front which will save that gateway and that forge also no overlord out in the front so the Dark Templar will be able to provide a little bit of a cushion there. By the way, another hatchery dropping at this uh, third base. Third gas getting tacked on. That's also where the evolution chamber is. The Zealots hoping that those Hydralisks got caught completely out of position so he'd be able to find something to attack. And unfortunately, still not finding anything out on the map. And I still don't know about uh, did the plus one weapons upgrade. Was it just a feint? And did it even finish? Where's the... the, the pl looks like, yeah, plus one weapons was in fact canceled. In the space of this, maybe because uh, the spotting of all of those Hydralists out in the field of Zealots, at least keeping them busy to provide a spotter room here towards the front. But now Overlord Speed's finished, and Striker still feels absolutely no threat on the map. He could go ahead and grab a, another base, which looks like he's going to go ahead and do. Has a massive amount of map control. Um, Doodles away, uh, supply counts are even. Striker up to 50 workers. So workers are even. You have... Uh, Dark Archon upgrading, Maelstrom upgrading as well to maybe make those Psy Storms perform a little bit better. And usually you'll do this if you kind of fear the Mutalisk play. But right now, Striker's just gone pure Hydralisk. Uh, and it presumably he's going to have the Lurker follow-up. Uh, right now he can just kind of outproduce Doodle and slam him and hold him to a smaller base count. The Scourge now making their way in. See the later six gateways which is actually eight gateways also able to confirm the gateway to natural expansion also able to confirm the robotics timing the zealots managing to slide through they might be able to spot that hatchery up top right 
but I'm not sure that, yeah, they're not going to be able to get a lot done about it. And we got lurkers morphing in up on this high ground plateau. They can kind of streak down any moment. And if Doodle, this is one thing Striker sometimes doesn't do well is he'll, he'll not leave those, he'll leave these, uh, he'll do this where he'll leave the lurkers unburrowed to keep them mobile. I think as an opportunity to crash down on an army and eliminate it, given an opportunity to do so. But sometimes, as a result, he ends up with scenarios like that where the results are just streaming across and he gets caught out of position with those lurkers. But anyway, fourth base, fourth hatchery coming online. I, this is an easy base take from here. He can go ahead and grab that without too much trouble. He's going to go ahead and check the 6 o'clock location, looking to see if he can hunt down a High Templar as well. There's a decent amount of side storm, but man, Striker's already up in army, although he's peeled off a portion of that army. Ooh, a little bit of a miss rally with the drones. We got a single zealot that was able to at least kill a little bit here, but that drone might be able to win that. Okay, drone dropping another hatchery at the north. A few units peeled off to go ahead. The drones actually might be able to fight that themselves. Or maybe something's just going to get built on the spot. Never mind, some hydralis made their way up. Who's the killer? That guy in the rear. But you just see a wave of gray. Look at this field here. And this is before the 6 o'clock base was even grabbed. So Doodle's basically locked in. Striker at this stage with the amount of map control he has doesn't even need to attack into Doodle to stop this six from going up. And I don't see a way for Doodle to get back out of this without getting shuttle, shuttle speed, and going for a bunch of side storm drops. And these are well, well spaced lurkers as well. This is just an absolute killing field. Doodle losing control. No, never mind. He's gonna attack into this. Decent maelstrom on some of the hydralisks and able to get at least a bit of a good size storm in the space of that, continuing to make his way up, saving. Never mind, doesn't have enough for an additional maelstrom. But Striker can just fill in from here. Good size storm to follow up. I mean, this is a thing able to kill three lurkers, but this is still a massive hold and more coming. And Striker still, after all of that, maintains the lead. Lurker is just planting right back in. I gotta say, Doodle's actually dismantling this pretty well as he's making his way up, but it just feels like such a terrible position to try to engage and able to pick off an Overlord in the space of that. Lost an Observer. Still has one more. Now losing High Templar. And the, the, the unfortunate part of this is he loses this army. He loses the High Templar out of this army, and he has no... He doesn't have a threat to even try to take the six now. And that's the thing. is Striker's not even instant... Is, isn't even interested in grabbing the six at this stage. So more Dragoons trying to make their way out. Another great Maelstrom, actually. Gonna hold those units in place to wipe them out, at the very least. So small, small bonuses right there. So the Dark Archon actually being pretty valuable. But still, Striker holds the high ground. This probe is uh, just now moving a position to grab the six. Still hasn't dropped it. And we already have an additional fourth base up. And probably more coming. And how are the upgrades? Yeah, plus two weapons is already there. Uh, looks like we, we do have at least plus one up and plus one armor. So it's not so dire but uh the upgrades aren't that great plus two armor is making its way it looks like we are getting the energy upgrade so now that nexus is dropped and honestly striker's got a 30 supply lead he's gonna hit 200 pretty rapidly he can make his way up the hive at leisure this is something that a lot of uh zerg i think miss is sometimes so i've seen other I, i'm gonna criticize <laughs> i know that jay Yoon and other people love it when hawk gets criticized i'm gonna criticize hawk with this sometimes is sometimes they sit on the the tier two tech a little bit too long and not transition to hive tech in these sort of scenarios but striker doing a very rapid advantageous switch to the hive tech recognizing there's not a lot the doodle can do about it he can go ahead and grab the rest of the map uh, at leisure if he wanted to um but he's got a massive worker lead a massive economic lead he's gonna have uh, an upgrade lead eventually with the evolution chambers that he's dropped he's gonna have a big tech lead this is another base he can go ahead and grab and he's just filtering this is turning into the gray wall now outside of Doodle's base. A couple Hydralisks making their way down to go pick off a High Templar, successfully doing so. Actually, I actually wonder if uh, Overlord Vision would be a good upgrade in space. The Zerglings also streaming their way across to go end around and start attacking the Photon Cannon. I'm not sure if I like that or not. Maybe Striker's like, let's just free up some supply while we can and keep Doodle honest across a lot of these uh, spaces. Yeah, just I think he's also using it to sight spot where the High Templar are. Another Observer gets picked off. Still one out the field did the overlord wow that overlord maybe already has the vision upgrade but hive tech just about finished doodle starting to transfer workers at least 
Oh, they're doing kind of a weird loop around, though. What's with that in the pathing, though? Nice Maelstrom to kind of save that. The Observer got picked off in the space, so some Lurkers might use that opportunity to go ahead and sneak a little bit further forward. But Striker's happy to kind of tempt the... This is mostly hit-and-run tactics to kind of pull Zealots like this and Dragoons out of position. More Lurkers. Okay, the Observer's finally making its way up. But it's just even more, and this is just going to get worse. So the file amount on the way. 40 supply lead. Yeah, two Lurkers died, but Cannon's up. He's going to need Reavers here pretty soon to hold the rest of this. High Templar have been trying to continually storm just to hold, and yeah, Doodle recognizes he, he can't even hold the six. So going to GG right there. Striker will continue in the upper bracket. Doodle will now uh, go to the lower bracket uh, for trying to <laughs> remember what the round numbers are for round four and round four respectively. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.